a simulated high voltage island of electricity squeezed into a single room. What makes it really unique is that we can simulate the operation of the grid. So we can create scenarios that occur very, very rarely in the grid, such as when um, big storms occur or when generators trip offline. The ACT Chief Minister today cut the ribbon at the ANU's Distributive Energy Resources Lab. Key core competency of the problem. But the work, the research, the development the innovation that will come out of this lab can be applied in our energy network across Australia uh, and with global ambition. The lab here is an excellent example of how we can come together to create this infrastructure, a world-class facility that can be used not just by us, but by partners around the country and uh, within industry and academia. Three, two, one. But researchers didn't need to wait for an official opening to charge forward with their work on vehicle to grid technology, which later this year could see electric powered cars backing up the grid. You still use the vehicle to drive around town, but then when you get home at night, now you can plug your vehicle in or get charged. But if there is extra value that can be made by providing a little bit of power to the grid every now and then, your car will be smart enough to also take those opportunities. It's just one innovative solution to the problem of powering our society in a changing climate. Scientists and the Territory Government hope this new lab will lead the way and help the Commonwealth to rethink its approach to renewables. The frustrating thing clearly uh, is that we could run so much faster if the policy environment at a national level uh, was more supportive and more conducive to, uh, to innovation uh, and to the transition. Federal government tends to be a little bit more conservative. We can get out and be more forward leaning. And then when we get it right, which we will, we can leverage, I think, bigger funding downstream. The capital plugged in to the renewables revolution. Harry Frost, ABC News, Canberra.